Alright, it's onward to the final trial. Welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. Last episode, we picked up all but one part for, the, for to get the dolphin to fly off. This episode is the last episode! Hopefully. Unless we mess up. That uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. I should be fine. I've played the game before. I know what to do, but... We'll see. Exactly. Stay with us on this wild ride. Welcome to the final trial. Ooh, scary. So, the big deal with this area is it's all one big puzzle leading up to the final boss. Ooh, sweet. And you have to use all three types of Pikmin for this. Yeah! First things first, I'm gonna need reds, I believe. Actually, I gotta look ahead first, because I gotta check some things. Oh, it looks I'm gonna gorgeous. need blues, I'm gonna need yellows, I'm gonna need reds. Those are the three colors, so I'm glad that's what you decided. I remembered my primary colors from elementary <laughs> school. Good job. I'd like to thank my teachers for putting color in my brain. I would like to thank Blue's Clues. I, I would like to thank Blue's Clues as well. <laughs> well, they, they also taught us the tertiary colors, and middle school didn't like that. What? I remember when I was in art class in middle school, I told them, like, what the tertiary colors were when we were doing, like, art for that, of, like, mm -hmm. mixing primaries and secondaries. They said, no, it's red, orange, and green, blue. I'm just like, no. No way. It's Chartreuse and Marigold. I'm just like, how dare you? What? I was insulted so badly when I heard that. Just like, how dare you? I love that you were insulted for the colors. Yes. You the dare mock the colors? Okay, so while the, while the blues are building the bridge, I'm gonna need 15 yellows for what I'm gonna do. Because okay. we need bombs. Bomb squad! Come on, go faster. Let's go faster. All and swim. <laughs> he's not even swimming, he's just walking through the water. I know, but what if he had to, like, leap across? I mean, the space float is not even in the game for a reason. It's just like, if you can't swim, you got this thing. True. Alright, so, we got these silos here. These are how we're getting our bombs. And trust me, we're going to need a lot of bombs. Can we look at the map of this area? Yes. This is a big area, but it's a straight shot to the final part. Oh. That doesn't look that hard. It doesn't. But looks to be the ceiling. Well, don't judge a book by its cover. Basically. Don't judge an area by its map. Mm. I don't know. They're trying to find a way in. They can't seem to do that yet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> They found some. Okay, not everyone's going to be able to find a bomb, so I'm going to just lead them to it. Okay. There's nothing they can blow up over here, so I'm just gonna throw them for now. Okay, thankfully this overhead camera actually works pretty well for this part. Next thing, next thing we're gonna do is get some reds, because we're gonna need them for something as well. So I'm not gonna need too many yellows in the final battle, but I am gonna need that small platoon of bombers for something. Because we need bombs for something very important. What is it? Final boss. <laughs> This is the rare case where bombs will actually be very helpful against the final boss because they're necessary. Well, not necessary, but they're extremely helpful to use against the final boss. Whoa. The ring of fire! I don't think I need to throw all of these guys, but I'm gonna throw most of them. Because I can't actually get up high or high enough to grab uh, You guys stay over there. The switch side goes fast. And I'm also gonna just get my bombers in because honestly I'm gonna use them right now. If you didn't know what you were doing, this could easily take a yeah, couple this, of days. This could take a few days if you're not prepared for the first time. I thought we were saving this. What, what are you doing? Okay, this was not my fault. He ran straight off into the water. Stefan, get out of the water! Stefan, this was... He drowned on land? Oh. I don't even know how he pulled that one off. He had too much water in his tiny lungs. Okay. Okay, I'm getting more balloons for brick building. Wow. Nice control of the whistle. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. Okay, let's get all of you over here. 
Well, including that one, I guess. That was uh, Jeremy. He was late. He was late for work. Classic Jeremy. Okay, let's call you guys over. Nope! Ugh. Okay, I guess Car Carlos here is also dying. Sorry, Carlos, I cannot help you here. Like I said before, Darwinism. Pretty much. Anyway, the Blues are going to be working on getting the bridge all the way done. This shouldn't take too long for them, though. Once they get this... I did not dismiss you. Why did you do that? You got tired. They're creating these big, heavy bombs. I mean, I guess, but they're not... Yeah. I mean, people are like ants. They can lift some pretty heavy things. Look, they're real. Well, they're like carrots. Carrots and ants. And carrots. Know. Carrots can lift heavy things, too. <laughs> Just a little bit. I don't recall this fact. Was it a rock fact? It's a rock fact! Carrots could lift three times their own body weight! Uh, Greg. That's, that's a rock fact! Greg, that's. Whatever. Okay. So in there is the final boss. Ooh, it looks grassy. Looks to be deceiving. But this is also the weakest wall in the game. In fact, the weakest walls in the game are in the final trial specifically. Why? Because you don't really need to focus on the walls. Okay. Uh, so, first things first, I am not going to fight this thing yet. Is I that have... quicksand? No, it's not quicksand. It's just a uh, circular arena, thankfully. Wait, another wall? Yeah. Are these this is where I go even? to this is where I go to get more to get more bomb rocks. Okay. I am going to now do myself a favor. And leave your rings over there? Yeah. I'm going to leave them here, and I'm going to take the blues back and switch them out for more reds, because I want my strongest attackers up front, and I don't need blues anymore. They have served their purpose. Aww. We will see you in the next game. Arrivederci! Goodbye, buddies. I miss you. Yeah, let's just go tag these guys out, because I'm going to want a lot of rinse. Have a good nap. <laughs> what? Nothing. They're napping. They're tired. They work hard. From all that unrolling the bridges. Yep. Come on, shrink those numbers down. Come on. I hear the sound of your son downstairs. That cat's on. I think he's... Beautiful. <laughs> I think he's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, he is your child. It's good to think that your child is beautiful. Exactly. What? Why'd you... Okay, okay I don't... want more? I think this is good for now. If I need more, I will run and get them, but... Right now, I just want... Some... I don't want super huge right now, because that could backfire. Okay, interesting. Okay. Anyway, final boss here is actually another boss that returns in Pikmin 2 specifically. And I'm going to Let's get ready to rumble! I'm going to rally my troops together real fast and get more bombs. Because honestly, you can never have enough bombs. Alright. Y'all just get in here. Dismissed. Get more bombs. Yeah, just pull, ground, pull bombs out of the ether. Thank you. Okay, I got my bomb squad and I got my reds. That's good. I can't believe there's just bomb rocks on the ground in Pikmin World. It's, it's useful. What's the name of this planet again? There is no name. All of doesn't give it a name. I think in Pikmin 3 it's classified as PNF 404. Ugh, I want a cool name. Alright. We go forth. Two arms! Wake up! Whoa! This is Emperor Bulblax. Oh, it's terrifying. He is the he is the father of all bulborms, and he is not friendly. Does he burp? No, he eats Pikmin. Oh my gosh! That purple tongue of his has the largest hitbox of anything in the game. It can eat anything. Even Olimar? Uh, no, not Olimar. It can eat, it can eat any amount of Pikmin. I meant to say. Well, this guy does not mess around, and I'm going to try and do the tactic you're supposed to do against this guy. Kill him! Ugh. That's 
not what it was supposed to be, but that is a tactic that works. There we go. Oh. So there's technically two ways you can fight this guy. If the yellow Pikmin do their job, they can actually throw those bombs into his mouth when he tries to yes. Okay, apparently he stepped on them somewhere. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be an easy fight. There are a lot of things that can go wrong. Unfortunately, Ugh, him eating Pikmin just, I don't bomb. want to. I'm trying to get them to do what they are supposed to do, which is actually just walk out the Whoa. door. Why are they letting go of the bombs when you kill them? I don't know. It's a weird quirk and issue with, with the yellow Pikmin in this game, is that sometimes they just won't do it when they're supposed to. Come on. Just one. I mean, just one. I don't like having to do this with a lot of them. Please, do it right. <laughs> nope, you did it wrong. Well, he still ate the bomb. It's a noble fight. Yep. A worthy cause. Yeah, and thankfully, he doesn't really think to, think to change up his strategy of just <laughs> eat. His tongue is so gross. Yeah, it's really big. I'm glad he doesn't, like, come into... Past the wall. Oh, now you throw the bomb right. God damn it, yellow. Okay, let's see if I can bait him. There we go. You yeah! did it right. So this is where he does it the worst. Is when he, yeah, he smacks buddy. himself in the face with his tongue. This is this will stun him much longer, and it makes it easier to fight. Good job. That is scary. Eyes. Okay, he's halfway there. No. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That's what I like to see. It's halfway there. Oh, oh my god, don't don't grab more bombs. I don't need more bombs. They're like, but but dad, I thought you wanted more bombs. Not like this. I just want you to be proud of me. Oh baby, that's what I like to see. Come They're on. learning! Go, go, go. The pickings are learning. And growing, and thriving, and surviving. One, okay, we only have to do one more cycle and he's dead. Yeah! Get that bomb and throw it in his mouth. Ooh, two bomb babies. Please, hold still. <laughs> more people are coming with Stop bombs. grabbing more bombs! You're like, hey, hey dad, we got these for you. Happy Father's Day. Okay, that's what I like to see. Come on, squad, roll in! Guys, hurry. Quick, 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 quick! Smack that mofo in the face! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I threw it right into his mouth. Whoops. No, don't charge! That's the other problem is that he can stomp and it will kill whatever, whatever he hits. Uh oh, he's doing that part. No. Ah! Oh. Oh, I was afraid he would do that. My God. His, yeah, his jumping is a real. There's problem. two in the arena with him. Oh no. Yeah, I was afraid of this. They're smacking him. Uh oh. Okay, guys. That's it. That right there is it. There's no way he can survive this. That's it. And our final reward. At long last, I found the final part. My secret safe! And it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hockatate. Oh my god, we did all that for a safe? We did Is all this that a piggy bank? Yes. Oh. We did all of that for a piggy bank. We don't have enough Pikmin to get it. <laughs> That's the Twitter talk, I'm gonna run back. Uh, I should be able to swarm this thing. There's This thing has no limit on the amount of Pikmin that can carry it, so I should be able to just grab it back with all the others. I'm this worried. might be a bit closer. We're not gonna make it! Guys, come on. No time to panic, Blues. You guys are lucky that I'm even bringing you here, but I need you right now. 15, 14, don't, don't start a timer on me. 15. Why did you ever do that? <sighs> we actually killed him in one day, which I was hoping, because I've, I've had this fight drag out for days, but we're not going to be able to get the safe back in time. Oh, man. 
That's okay. Day 19 will just be pellets and the last part. And celebration. All the fireworks. And the bombs. And popsicles. <laughs> and popsicles. Uh, it's unfortunate. I was hoping to get this all done in one day. I think if, if I had just gone faster on the puzzles, I probably would have been fine. I was afraid he would do that stomping stuff, though, because he doesn't normally do that when I fight him, but it's really bad when he does. 18 days since impact. Oh, horrors. A bomb rock explosion engulfed my Pikmin. That last horrified facial expression is burned into my memory. Oh. I must have viewed my procedure for handling Pikmin with bomb rocks so that I do not repeat that mistake. But honestly, <laughs> this is the finale, so I'm just going to go back and grab that part right now. Yep. I'm not going to wait until next part. We're getting this done now. Whoa! We killed the final boss. We Two well. days in one episode? This is the first. And the last. Yes, it is definitely the last time we'll be doing this. The final trial again. <sighs> what if he was back? No. What if he respawned every day? Thankfully he doesn't do that. Respawn every day. Smoke weed every day. Nah, I'm good. Good. You do you then. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. You're hanging on? Well... As a demonstration in just how many Pikmin can actually carry this thing. It's kind of stupid, but also really funny in my opinion. So there's no limit? I think it, it's either no limit or it has the highest amount that anyone can carry out of anyone. The limit does not exist. I've got to be careful though. Oh my. Yeah. At least two are gonna die crossing this bridge. Yeah, they're... Give me a second. <laughs> oh my. Let's do it in pieces. <laughs> Actually, no. We'll, we'll start with 40, and then we'll have the rest pick up on the way back. Mm. 100 is the limit you can have out of the time, right? Yep. 100 is the max. Yep, and there's that dang piggy bank. How much money do you think he has in his piggy bank? I don't know, but it must, it must not be much if it can fit in the piggy bank. I don't know, you could put a lot of $100 bills in the piggy bank. I mean, that's true. Or a hundred space bucks or whatever currency Olimar has. Pick money. <laughs> pick money. <laughs> that's the Pikmin currency. Pick Pick picks. Pick pick. Oh, actually, no, that was like the... That's the product of Planet Hawk Day, is their pick pick carrots. Yeah. Well, I guess, I guess it works. No way. It wouldn't be pick pick carrots and then the money's also called pick picks. It'd be like if we pick had bucks. dollar carrots. Okay. 63 on this thing. Oh, he's a cute piggy bag. Crack it open! <laughs> they don't have a hammer. We didn't find that part. We have a spaceship. I am not crash landing the ship just again for the sake of opening a piggy bank. Wow. Fine. Um, are the pellets still over there by the guy or no? Uh, are they gone? No, they're gone. No, no more new pickies. How are we gonna get there? I'm to pick you promise we can get more. I said, unless something happens. Alright, 95? Oh. Looks like that's the cap. 95. That you know one's what? lost. I'm gonna do it myself a solid. Carry me back. <laughs> Carry me home, boys. Carry me home tonight. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Alright, come on, guys. Oh, let him carry you all the way. We want the fireworks. Right, Give us the fireworks! Oh, nope. The makes faster. And there we go. I have finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hakate. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Oh, we still got that weird egg beater thing here. Whoa. But it finally went away. The ship is ready. So, the reason why I want to do this right now? You're forced right to the end of the day. Oh, look at your Pikmin buddies watching you. Bye, Dad. Oh, wow. 
darling. Oh, this little wave. I did not know Pikmin knew how to do the wave. It gets better. Blast off. They learn to fend for themselves. Oh! That's so cute. They're strong and powerful. And then Pikmin 2 happens and shows that this was a lie! They can't fend for themselves? But, this is where things get really cool. They're coming with me! There's so many onions. Look at how many colors there are of Pikmin. We've never Whoa, seen green, green black, pink. We've seen pink, but we've never seen green or black. Or turquoise. Oh my gosh. Is Pikmin 4 in the works? Are there going to be rainbow Pikmin? Pikmin 4 has been in the works for years. Miyamoto just can't get it done. When's it coming out? It's done when it's done. Give it to us. Give him ten more years. It's what the people need. Oh, back to his family. Wait, is that Earth? Yes. We've discussed this a few times. That is just Earth after humanity died. We don't know. We only saw a small portion of it. That's it. 30 parts in 19 days. 314 surviving Pikmin. 217 were lost. Whoa. Uh, total Pikmin ever sprouted, 560. Hey! That's pretty good. Wait. Oh. Sprouted. Mm -hmm. I see. Good job! And here it shows all the parts. As I said, Nova Blaster, Space Float, Massage Machine, UV Lamp, and the Secret Safe are all optional parts. Everything else you have to get in order to launch. If you don't get those parts, you get the bad ending. Even the cushion? Yep, the pilot seat is required. Wow. Okay, what's the bad ending? The bad ending is if you don't get all the parts, you attempt to launch, crash land again, Pikmin carry you off to an onion, your dead body, and you're reborn as all of them, a Pikmin. Honestly, I... that sounds like the best possible ending. Well, they also can't get you out of the ground. So you're just kind of stuck there forever. It's just Olimar's head with a Pikmin leaf sprouting out and of it. And then it cuts away. Maybe he'll be pulled out eventually. Maybe. Alright. So that progress. I hope I'm reborn as a Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Alright. And since we got the best ending, it's credits time. Ooh. Credits projected on the planet. Beautiful. It's nice to see you again, Mr. Iwata. I wish you I, I wish you luck in a better place. Look at this beautiful font. And to think, this game is 19 years old. This what? came out in 2001. This was a launch title period title for the game. Ugh. I hate that fact. We're Take old. it back. <laughs> We're all. Take it back. You. I will say, it was nice revisiting this. It wasn't as buggy as I was expecting it to be, because I'm aware that Pikmin 1 has a lot of technical problems at times. It wasn't as bad as I, was th as I thought it would be. Pikmin were still kind of stupid at times, but that's just to be expected. Mm. And I still enjoyed this journey. I still think Pikmin 2 and 3 are better games. 2 mm. for just having more polish, and 3 for being just the best Pikmin game ever. Yeah. But it's, it's still a good game, and I would say if you want to buy it, might as well, it's worth it. What do you got to say? I love Pikmin! <laughs> they're very cute and very strong, and they've been through a lot in these past 19 days. They deserve to have a captain who can lead them into war and also take care of them. And may they live on, if not on the planet ER, then in the uh, <laughs> ER! <laughs> Want to try that again or no? No, I said it like that on purpose. Fine. I think this was honestly a very different game when it started. This was originally codenamed as Adam and Eve. What the? This was 
This game went through a very weird development cycle. They ran a lot of ideas through it. Mm -hmm. Like Pikmin originally going to be different sizes. They were going to have different features. It wasn't just red, blue, and yellow. What? There were all kinds of weird things that they were thinking about with this game. Wait, Adam and Eve? It was supposed to be a, like a, a world-creating game originally, and they said, Man. Oh. And now it's time for the best part of any good Pikmin, or any old game. Enemy Roll Call. What? Where we find out the depths are way worse in the game than I am. Armored Kennedy. Yeah, they go over every enemy that you've met in this game. Spiders. I hate spiders. Big long legs. But yeah, will I do Pikmin 2? Probably at some point, but that won't be for a while. I have plans for what I want to do next. I'm not gonna say what it is, but. It'll be something familiar, but different. Okay. Very big. Yes. As you can see, we just sort of got a lot of the boss enemies. Are you gonna watch all the bosses? Yeah. Might as well watch the end of World Call again. Well, you never want to watch all the credits. The movies, but the game is a bit different. Because these usually have weird stuff like this. I always want to watch all the credits. Think of all the people that worked so hard! I mean, it depends. Also, Jesus, look at that mole bear's eyes. Think about the potential of an after credit scene! I mean, that's only... that doesn't appear in every movie, though. Not every movie, but a lot of movies. That's more for, like, superhero movies and stuff. No way! A lot of movies have that. I suppose that's true. Did we see the red bud? Yeah, we did. I killed it. <laughs> it was the thing with the space float in. Space... float in? The float. The, uh, life preserver that all of our has. Oh, uh, I forgot. So, so weird, many days ago. another weird thing is that we'll be seeing some beta footage in here that wasn't in this final version of the game, and that we'll be seeing different areas and stuff. What? Really? I believe there's a few enemies that'll be, like, in locations that we haven't been to. Like this, like, here, Swooping Stitch Bugs should not be in this area. This is the Forest of Hope. They don't appear here. Well, only true fans will know. Gulix, which is definitely not supposed to appear in this area. It, it only appears in the impact site, not in the forest navel. We'll also be able to see the, the one enemy that we did miss, the, the Mamuta. Honey Wisps, which, which are in a region that I don't know. The Mamuta Triangle. <laughs> no. The larva waiting in his nest. One, one of the few enemies that are completely harmless, along with the iridescent flint beetle. I didn't die you. What? what? Okay, here it is. This, this is Mamuta. Oh it, my god, he's cute! It can't actually hurt anything except for you, but it will plant your Pikmin back in the ground and flower them. Oh, oh I wish we found him. Brother Clam Clam appearing in the, in the uh, distant spring, which it still can't appear in. So beautiful, the mollusk pearls are thin and fragile. Heliposies. That's not an enemy. It's something that we can kill, therefore it is an enemy. So yeah, the neck the pellets are actually just crystallized nectar. The puff stool. Oh, also cute. In a weird way. You may consider this walking fungus a delicacy. Ugh. A cute delicacy. Called the glowhog. A gorgeous enemy. Which also winds up getting, I believe, like a simple a cousin of sorts in Pikmin 2 with the withering glowhog. More sheer grubs. They're going right for the Pikmin. Yep, there's the sheer wigs. I think Smoky Frog is coming up next. Either the next one or the one after this. It was just as like the video was in, like, you could pause and look at it in game because you knew all the monsters. Well, they did that for Pikmin too. Thank you. Thought to be a malformed larval meat Mamuta. Like I said, I don't understand how that becomes a Mamuta. I do not believe that. Spotty Bulbear. Rare subspecies of Bulbear has a certain in indefatigability. Well, he never gets to- wait! Even though they were sleepy. They're light sleepers. That's the weird part. Spotty Bulbear. Look at that picture! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody! Water Dumples. 
don't like those. They look like they need dentures. Yeah. They're annoying enemies. And the, the log holes, which I, did, which I did not bother fighting because they're worthless. Creature appears to be a newborn yellow wally log in tadpole form. Because they give like one pick to for beat them. And they, they're too fast to deal with normally. What is that? Wally log slaughter? That's the analog computer. I don't know what that's doing there. That's in a different area from what it used to be. Well, mid jump. They like switch places with the anti the option filter. Mm -hmm. Yellow wally log. Are they Pikmin rapping right now? Uh, they're making some sort of music. No rap. And that's it. It's electronic dance music. And <gasps> the happy end. Oh. Since we got all the parts, we got the happy end. It's that's... either the there's also the end and the bad end. Adorable. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you guys for joining us for this. I will see you back here next time for whatever comes next. Until next time, ice out. Thank you. Bye.